Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about counter flow heat exchanger. Students, suppose here seen, this is a tube. Okay. Here I am drawing a tube. Okay. And this tube is inside another big tube this is a small tube suppose this is our a small tube okay small tube and it is inside another big tube suppose here i am drawing a big tube okay as you can see here this is another big tube and it this tube has a opening here and another opening will be here as you can see okay this is our big tube okay as you can see here we have a small tube inside a big tube okay and now see suppose suppose here we are passing a fluid from this small tube which is hot fluid so here now we are passing a fluid from this tube in this from left direction to the rightward direction as you can see here and this is a hot fluid so this is the hot fluid inlet hot fluid inlet and suppose at this point it has a temperature th1 okay and here this is a hot fluid outlet hot fluid outlet and it has temperature here th2 okay and now here on inside this big tube we are passing here a cold fluid from rightward direction to the leftward direction that is from here from this point this is the inlet of cold fluid okay now cold fluid is moving in this direction in towards the left leftward direction as you can see here and this cold fluid will come out from this uh, another opening which is on the left side as you can see here so here now this is a cold fluid fluid inlet inlet and it has suppose inlet temperature of this cold fluid is tc1 okay and out this is the outlet of cold fluid so here cold fluid outlet and at this point it has temperature cold fluid has temperature suppose tc2 okay now see here students as you can see here this both the fluids are flowing in the opposite direction so this heat exchanger is called as a counter flow heat exchanger this both fluids both fluids flowing flowing in flowing in opposite direction so this is called as a counter flow heat exchanger okay as you can see here and now see students here here this this th1 temperature will be always greater than th2 temperature th1 temperature is greater than th2 temperature this is see and here this T C two temperature is always greater than T C one temperature. This is because here students see this both the fluids exchange heat with each other as this hot fluid um, flows inside this inside this small tube. This hot fluid exchanges heat with the cold fluid which is flowing. 
inside this uh, big tube as you can see here there is a heat exchange between both the hot and the cold fluid as it passes uh, in these tubes now see how the graph will indicate graph we can in the graph we can indicate the uh, hot and cold fluids so now see here suppose here this is our graph from the graph you will understand the better understand the counter flow heat exchanger temperatures how they manipulate how they changes so here see as you can see these both tem both are flowing in the both the fluids are flowing in the opposite direction that's why the temperature difference between the two fluids remains more or less nearly constant that is here the meaning of this sentence first seem the temperature of the t c temperature of the t c 2 t c t c 2 is more or less similar uh, so so here we can uh, nearly constant so nearly constant constant to constant with constant with th1 and this uh, tc1 temperature will be nearly constant as th2 temperature okay in this uh, counter flow heat exchanger okay this tc2 temperature will be nearly constant with the th1 temperature and this tc1 temperature will be nearly constant with the th2 temperature in this counter flow heat exchanger now we will see these statements in this graph so now see here this will be the our temperature axis this vertical axis that is y axis is our temperature axis so here this is temperature t and this uh, x axis will be our length length that is l okay now see as this length of both the tubes increases the there there will be more heat transfer okay that is here seen here length is directly proportional to the heat transfer in both the cases as the length increases the heat transfer time will as the length increases we will get more heat transfer time for both the fluids okay now see here in the graph now see suppose this is our hot hot fluid line the temperature of the hot fluid will be this at this point will be th1 okay as the temperature decreases when it when it uh, when it uh, exchanges heat with the cold fluid the it's a temperature hot fluid temperature gets decrease so this graph will be like this okay at this point this temperature will be tc2 temperature see now suppose this is a line and this is another line here which has here tc2 temperature sorry t H two. This is Th one temperature of the hot fluid, and this is Th two temperature uh, of the hot fluid due to exchange of heat with the cold fluid. Okay. Now, at suppose uh, this is the um, this is counter flow heat exchanger. So flow will be start from this point uh, here. See, this is the flow of the fluid in this direction. and here the in case of cold fluid this is our uh, initial temperature that is uh, lowest temperature that is t c1 and as the fluid passes in opposite direction is temperature which is nearly nearly equal to the 
nearly constant so i am taking the uh, graph in this at this point as you can see here and uh, at the outlet of the cold flat the temperature will be tc2 which is nearly equal to the th1 temperature okay in ideal condition okay so the graph will be like this uh, hot flat temperature gets decreases and uh, cold flat temperature gets increases uh, because of that we will get the cold flare at the outlet of the hot flare line as you can see here that is here okay and this uh, this uh, uh, count uh, due to this uh, type of counter flow heat exchanger we will get here maximum rate of heat transfer for the given surface area and that's why these heat exchangers are most favored for heating and cooling of the fluids okay students so students in this video we have understood about counter flow heat exchangers thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you